Everyone, it's Eric here from my 525XL. Just doing some regular maintenance on my Quantum NIAS 220. And as you can see, it does quite a good job of picking out all the gunk from the tank. Um, it's probably been about two weeks since I cleaned it, so I'm just gonna do another regular maintenance. But as you can see, pretty plastered. And inside the skimmer neck is just laden. So that's why I like to clean it every two weeks or so. Um, you can see the build up in the bottom as well, but it really does a great job of pulling up all the uh, Debris I guess I'll call it uh, fish poop and everything else. So just gonna give it a quick clean and uh, We're gonna install it back in in a second Here, got my skimmer on a stand because of the water level, make sure it's copacetic, and then we're going to turn it on. Now, the only thing I need to worry about here is I have my hand in the tank or in the sump changing out my filter floss. So, as you know, sometimes when you stick your hands in a tank, the skimmer goes a little crazy. So, let's see what happens. I'm just going to turn it on here. And if it starts to overflow, or I'll turn it off for an hour and then turn it back on, but let's see what happens. Don't really want to do any adjustments because it's already been tuned to the way it should be. And it looks like it's going to overflow, so I'll turn it off for now. And I'll let everything settle down. So that typically happens when I find when I stick my hands in the sump. Um, I guess it's the oil from your hands, maybe, your skin tends to... Uh, offset what's going on in the skimmer and it overflows so anyway did a good maintenance on the skimmer it was overdue and um, I also changed out the filter floss down here so that's all new filter floss in there only thing I'll do probably next week is clean up the detritus in the bottom it's not a lot but uh, I'm gonna get rid of that and then I'm gonna do a major cleaning on the skimmer probably next week as well just on the bottom part the neck is all, all good to go got my sterilizer running there I don't like a hookup but I'll need to redo that at some point so that's it that's it for my uh, maintenance this weekend uh, hope you enjoyed so up top not much has changed since my last update um, Looking at the gravel, it's nice and clean, so the algae is not coming back yet, which is good. Uh, the only thing I did is I changed that rock that had a bunch of algae build up on it and uh, replaced it with that piece. You can see it's kind of wet, sorry, kind of white. And I just moved the, uh, the Duncan over so it's not fighting with the finger leather. So other than that, everything looks good. Happy with the progress again, algae free. Anyway. That was my update for December 6th on the NIOS maintenance, and um, hope you guys are staying safe and vigilant. And again, leave your comments and questions down below. I'll answer them uh, happily as soon as I can. Until we chat again, happy reefing.